Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos, and this is our second broadcast. Um, quick background, if you didn't see the first one, is uh, I've been doing for a number of years weekly trainings with uh, with my shop guys who work here at the uh, at the shop, um, just to kind of get them up to date on what we happen to be working on every, any particular given week. And uh, we've been doing it for a number of years, and we thought, why not just add a camera and start doing a uh, live broadcast? So check it out every 6 a.m. Mountain Standard Time on uh, Wednesday mornings. So last week, we, we really just talked. We talked about this Steinway A that we're going to be rebuilding. And uh, this week, we're going to actually get into it. So this week is going to be much less um, jabbing and it's just going to be like, hopefully, uh, the camera is just going to be like another participant in what we're doing. So uh, let's let's just get started in, in tearing this this piano down. So um, okay, if 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 I get a couple guys, let's take this lid off. Let's put this lid maybe in the other room. Let's get this lid prop taken off, um, and then you could take. Let's let's use one of these um, um, for this other stuff like the fall board, the key slip, the cheap blocks, um, also the wire. Let's get everything just totally torn down. We're gonna fill out this um, this tear down sheet. So I'm just going to start filling out the down sheet first. Something we didn't do last week in the, um, in the broadcast, we didn't play the piano. Um, there's good reason for that. But uh, why not just get a feel for so we can remember what this piano is? There's the, Oh, 
So it sounds like we've got some strike point issues right there. Can everybody hear that? I'll just completely dead to this. When I have it pushed all the way back against the bag, it's, it's, still, it's pretty dead. Um, the hammer is, is in bad shape, so it might be the hammer. I don't know for sure if it's a strike point issue. Do you know what I mean when I say strike point issue? Um, so where that's, where that's dead, what you'll notice in a grand piano, um, as you slide the, the keyboard back and forth, just, just right here, you can even put a, a screwdriver under the, the little, excuse this, this little guide thing. Um, you can you can mess with the um, with the strike point as by lifting this up, and, and it just changes the geometry slightly, such that the the hammer is hitting the string in a little little bit different place. Um, and it's much more dramatic when you do it on a on a piano that's in good condition. You can you can really hear the difference as you as you find that nominal point. Um, by lifting this up. What, what we're going to end up doing, anyway, I mean, we'll take measurements of all this where the action is currently. So what we'll end up doing is uh, um, we'll end up finding the, the right strike point in the future. So we don't necessarily need to worry about that. You can get something to push up on that. That'll pop that out. Let's see if this is right. So let's label that. This is our new Steinway box. Even though we're putting in the Steinway box, um, label the Label the baggie. Steinway with the um, serial number. Yeah. And you got the, uh, yeah, let's get also that lock. Let's get that lock off and put it in the same little baggie. These are the screws from the lid. So this uh, stone was in 1902, by the way. It's had a lot of work done to it. Some of it um, is not great. And so there's there's gonna be a lot of undoing of that work. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna draw on the key bed just in the on the corners. That'll give one um, you know be one indication of where the let's see. And then uh, this is this is something we'll be filling out. This is a piano that we did about a year ago. It was just a box that I grabbed. Um, I still haven't emptied it out. Um, just kind of give you an idea. So we've got all these all these measurements. On this particular piano, um, I didn't take the bearing measurements, it looks like. I've got all these felt configuration and shared hitch pins and tied strings. Note 29, note 64. Old tuning pin, all of them. 
so we're going to be throwing that on, on this too. Um, okay, you start putting, where, where did you put the cabinetry? Oh, let's put it up there. Everything except the, um, the lid. And then, uh, and if you could put the, if you could put the lid, the big part of the lid, we'll just put it in the storage room. It's okay. just too big to deal with. But the, but the, the part that, yeah, we'll take it all the, the hinges off. Um, what's that? Sure. Yeah, I'll take a spot for it. So finish it. Um, okay. Let's uh, put the action out and then uh, Gavin, if you wouldn't mind. Um, No, we're not going to look at the action much today. Um, right now, we're just going to uh, take some measurements. Um, okay, yeah, if you could, if you could just draw, let's let's draw a map. Let's draw like like the where the health is here mm -hmm. and here. We'll also take pictures. Um, Wherever there's felt, just draw a picture of the whole thing and, and then and then put a label it also. So like there's cloth woven through the base strings, for example, and then there's also felt glued to the plate um, just in front of the hitch pins, for example. And label that and then there's these circle things on each label the belt itself. Well we we'll, we'll do that later. Um, like uh, like on this, where's that paper that I had just sitting there? The Emerson spider. None of that. Thanks, Don. So like this, for example, this is a person upright, but you've got the little base strings and you've got felt there, felt there, felt that goes up right there, and then and then it says here felt woven under capo bar, um, middle string. So it goes, it like goes on the middle mm -hmm. string for each note, and then the middle one. And then it has a lower felt, three quarters inch, which is wide. You, know, stuff like that. you just kind of follow that. Um, and then, uh, Ammon, do you know how to take the, the liar off on a, on a sign here? Yeah. Or are you working on the. So we're going to uh, let's take bearing measurements while we've got the strings on. You know what I mean by bearing? Down bearing. So the uh, uh, the strings, of course, they go. They they look like they're totally parallel to the soundboard, but of course they're going up to the bridge and then down to the hitch pin. Right. In the bass, it's it's more flat, or at least that's um, it, it it can be more flat. Whereas you, you definitely need down bearing, positive down bearing 
in the in the higher treble. So we're just going to take those measurements. So this is uh, it's giving us ten thousand or thousand seven inch rather. Um, let's just start on note eighty eight. So Gavin, if you could write down on bearing on the strung, note 88 looks like uh, maybe 18 thousandths. And then uh, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 69. No, 69 is about 14 thousandths. Or you could, I guess, I guess just call that the, uh, what was that, the first, second, third break. Let's go to the second break. So about nine thousandths. Let's take one at the halfway point. Halfway between the first and second break. Is that about ten thousands? It's halfway between the first and second break. And then right at the uh, Um, and then Gavin, or actually, since you're doing that, let's have Jared. Do you have do you have your phone on you? Mm -hmm. We just take a bunch of pictures of of things, um, kind of as they are. We're going to duplicate them, you know, more or less. We're going to get things, and it's just really handy to have photos. So if you could get pictures of felts, and I mean, it's not that it's not terribly complicated, but it's just nice to. To have exactly what it was. And then first break on the treble side, treble side of first break. It's like we're about four thousandths. The base side of the first break, we are ten thousandths. No, 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 I'm going to call that. Five thousands. And then the uh, note one. Looks like it's like about ten. We'll take, we'll take more measurements. Uh, we'll, we'll leave the, the strings um, on each break. We'll leave those strings on, and we'll take off all of the other strings. So there'll be very little, uh, very little tension, because it's only this note, that note, that one, that one, that 
that one, that one, that one, that one. So just like what eight eight strings that are still on, and we'll use those strings to take varying measurements when the uh, when the soundboard is unloaded. Okay, let's get uh, let's get wedges. Um, maybe some scrap. Emin, could you do that? Could you find some scrap pieces of uh, wood? Yeah, wood and, and if they're if it's about that wide, um, we're gonna put them here. We're going to put them in the plate mm -hmm. just to get the exact location of the plate. Um, okay. So if you want to use the bandsaw to cut a few wedges, then and we're also going to do this. Um, maybe Mike, if you could, could you be in charge of this? Sure. So if this is is uh, where's Don? <laughs> Come check this out, Don. This is uh, this is what I was talking about last week. This is from Christian Bolvik's class. This is the most accurate way of uh, of coming up with your um, plate height. So, um, so on the this is for the Christman that that uh, is out in the in the other room. So it's the uh, oh, this is this is for the the plate height. Um, taken from from in the uh, in the action cavity. So these go these go in the action cavity, and I have I have drawn um, on the key bed on the crystal like an outline of exactly where these go, and I have this labeled. The, I guess it goes like that. The base is that way, travels that way. Um, screw touches plate flange, runs parallel to. What did I write? Hammers runs parallel to hammers left right base side this corner touches Action stabilizer so the, the Front front corner touches the part where it begins to angle into piano towards base So I'm just trying to you know cover all my cover all my bases as much as possible so that so that there's like no mistaking exactly where this thing goes and then I put this in <clears throat> so that it touches the the underside of the plate and then just kept screwing it up and then putting it in testing it screwing it a little higher putting it in, testing it until it just barely touches and then this is of course the treble side so um so I mean you're doing wedges yeah go ahead okay I'll get out um, let's see so Mike, you're doing these? Okay. Is it on air? Um Jared, you have a few pictures? Yes, I'm sending to you now. Okay. <laughs> You are to get these out here. Take those dampers out. This needs to be a glass stick, man. Just one stick in there. Well, what I like, yeah, if they could be um, cut it like. 
this. It's probably too fragile. So maybe, uh, well, no, it's not the it's not a piece of wood. It's the um, the, the grain orientation. So rather than cutting it like that, cut it like cut it like that on the wood. Oh, okay. Or like that. Okay. It's just just too weak that way. And then and the kind of wedge that we need would be would be like would be like that. Okay. So so very narrow. Um, I want to be able to put it in right here. Okay. All, you know, all the way there in the corner, over in this corner here, and then we're going to put more around here. So we want to be able to wedge them in, you know, right there. And then on on the teardown sheet, we'll have we'll have these numbered. Mm -hmm. So we'll have them. We'll come up with some system as long as we just you know label the system on the paper, yeah. like number one, number two, number three, four, and five, you know, and then label each wedge one through five. Sweet. Got it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they do in that baggie, right? Uh, is it in the box? There's a live box. Jared, if you could grab another uh, pair of pliers like this and just start unscrewing these dampers and take all these dampers out. Shapes so you can't number all of these uh, these dampers as I take them out. Um, there's a couple ways to do it with dampers. You can uh, have you seen that that thing? I think Zach made it a while back. It's just a it's just a long piece of wood with little stands on it, and then and then he drilled holes all along like a damper guide rail, but it's more just like a um, rail. Yeah, it's just a holding rail. Um, where I'm replacing all of these dampers, I'm not going to worry about a, a holding rail. I'm just going to number them, and uh, you know, you know, what would would probably help is maybe a box within the box. So, Don, would you mind finding a small box that would fit that would fit the dampers, but would fit within the Steinway box? Okay. You know, just to kind of keep them, kind okay. of keep them together. And, want to and I'm numbering. I'm numbering. Do you see where I'm numbering it under here, Ammon? I'm num numbering each of the dampers under here where it's a you know inconspicuous okay. spot. Okay. And and that'll keep them in order. Okay. 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 Um, touching. Not touching. I'd like to touch in somewhere on the plate. Uh, the plate 
that it's going to be a lot more going to be a lot more precision. We're going to try and duplicate the pin watch as well, but I want the peg to be exactly where I want it. That's going to be the, for a number of reasons, the play is what we want to duplicate the, the location precisely. Um, that will help us with our down bearing, that will help us with our side bearing, make sure everything is exactly the way it was. So then you can come back and What? Got every everybody working on something. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Don. John, will you, uh, will you take a tuning pin out? Um, let's take a couple tuning pins out just to just to be sure. But I would I would like to, even though we're replacing the pin back, let's just I don't even know why. Let's just get the, a measurement of what these old pins are. I want the diameter and the length, and that's on the sheet that Gavin's filling out. Okay. Let's let's. Maybe take one out of the middle, one out of the middle, one out of the middle. And let's okay. take take a cut those strings take a measurement. And then, what's that? It just twist the matter to cut the string square. Um, what you can do is, um, well, I'll show you. Grab a, a tuning hammer and then a pair of uh, needle nose pliers. Okay. And then also that uh, that tuning pin crank. So once you're there, Don, hold on. At this point, once you get the tension down enough, you can just grab the Beckett and then pull it off like that. And we'll we'll take measurements of those strings and then take that pin off. Thank you. 
Get them in there nice and snug. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't pound them in, but just get them in. Yeah, I like that. Where it's just kind of the same kind of uniform pressure with each, just kind of. All right. So now, what uh, what I'll do on each of these is I'm going to draw a line at the plate. See that where it uh, where it goes in, and then um, and then I'll draw a uh, I'll draw a line on the piano, which is of course going to be refinished, but it'll be refinished after we get the plate back in. Yeah. Um, there there are different ways of doing. It. It's actually easier to do. Um, off the plate out. Um, I guess no. Hmm. Just barely snug right here. Like that. Oh. You What's that? Just barely snug like that. It's just, yeah, it's just so that it barely attaches. Look how nice that is. It's just a corner as well as a shape. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Because because we're gonna do that, because we're gonna refinish the the inner rim when the plate is still out. If I were to make a mark of exactly where this goes, of course that would be refinished over. Um, hey, did you follow that? Um, Don and Gavin, what, what I'm doing with the wedges. So it's essential that the, the plate, the location of the plate is, is exactly duplicated. And if I were to try to do that just using measurements and even like, if I were to say, Thousands uh, from the room right there. Um, it's not right now on the yeah. on the key bed. That shape. That shape exactly. So right. because it's putting pressure on the case. So you, well, it's not really putting pressure on the case. It's just you know, kind of. It's just kind of in there. Um, and so I like to mark on the case exactly. 
since we're going to be refinishing. With the halfway point of this, center of the screw. center of that screw hole, um, so that way we'll know that it doesn't go here, doesn't go there. It goes you know, right in the center of that screw hole. Um, so, Jared and Ammon, we find a similar place like that one's good. Maybe at the end, maybe if you move it slightly over, so that we can just be able to say that it's exactly at the end of the plate. Flush. So, do I double check this? Make sure I did it correctly. Okay, so is there any way that I could I could misinterpret this six <laughs> months down the road? This edge, I have a little, a little arrow here. This edge, even with plate screw hole center, is there any way that I'm going to misinterpret that and think, what was I thinking? I have no what idea. Does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> So it's even at the center of the screw. Um, in my job, it's easy. Is this right? Do you want to double check? So let's get the camera down in here. Um, is this, uh, oh nice, so you have that on Oh, okay, so this is great. So you labeled it R there and R here. Can you see that in, inside there? Where it says R right there, can you see that on the thing? And then this goes in exactly. And then, yep, oh, that is perfect. And then it's touching the Sorry. bottom of the plate. Just like that. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, now. I'm going to label this on Steinway A107209 plate tight gauge. Um, Ammon and Jared and Gavin, did you see this? Did you see what what Mike did? Same thing from the bottom of the keypad, right? Yeah. So come like, come check it out over here, where it uh, here it comes. Yeah. There you go. Sorry. So there's only one place he, he outlined it with that marker. Gotcha. I'm going to put an R down there for right, I assume. Mm -hmm. right. For the right side. And an R over there. Plate height gauge, Steinway A. The, uh, um, okay. 
Um, uh, 